What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Game. Mm-hmm. I got my man Q Walker with me. Mm-hmm. And as the world knows me, I go by Keezy. With the good hair. That's right. Keezy. I cut it all off, though. Keezy with the good hair. So we are back. Yep. We had a lot of NBA action going on. Sure enough. Yesterday gave us a whole lot of cinema yesterday. It sure did. The Clippers. Yep. Beat the Blazers. Uh-huh. And it wasn't even... During the game where we had the most fun, it was about the last 25 seconds of the game, and then what happened after that? Yeah, let, let, let's pull up the you know the little beef that's going on between Pat Bell, uh, Paul George, and uh, your guy Dame Lillard. So you know, uh, Dame Lillard responded to you know Pat Beverly's comment. Well, actually, Dame had made a comment. Um, well, actually, to go back, if you watched the game uh, yesterday, which was Sun Saturday, exactly. Saturday night. Dame had missed two crucial free throws to tie the game. I was to win the game. It would have put him up one. It would have put, yeah, yeah. put him up. It would put him up one. So he missed it. Uh, what's his? What's that boy's name? I forgot that boy's name. Pat Bell. You know he was on the sideline doing Dame time and all that. You know, and I guess Dame seen it. So after the game, you know, the post game, Dame said, you know, he put uh, Pat Bell at the playoffs two years ago. He put Paul George at the playoffs last year, and you know. They, they expect that from him, and it just shows a sign of respect. So, and then, you know, Pat Bev got a hold of it, and Pat Bev said, Can, Cancun on three. You know, one, two, three, Cancun. One, two, three. And then, you know, Paul George, you know, he wanted to jump in the smoke too. And he said, you getting sent home this year, respect. And then Dame Lillard responded with, keep switching teams, running from the grind, you boys is chumps. Keezy, what was your, what's your thoughts on the whole, whole, whole deal? <laughs> First of all, I'm going to go back to the game. Okay. So, the Blazers lost to a Clippers team, no Kawhi. No Kawhi. Paul George didn't play the last, I want to say, eight and a half minutes of the game. Right. No Pat Bev, no, no Montrez Harrell. Mm-mm. They oh. had Rodney Magruder. They had Terrence Mann, a rookie. Your boy. Patrick Patterson. Um, Landry Shaman. Your Landry boy. Shaman on the court. And somebody else to end the game. And the Blazers had like a seven-point lead. And they let the Clippers come back and beat come them. Come back and beat them. And Damian Lillard. Missed two free throws. Mm-hmm. That could have that could have given the Blazers a one point lead. D- Dame went cold the the last five minutes of the fourth quarter. Man, I was expecting him to you know carry that win out. But before we get into the beef, this is what I you know. Shout out to PP made a good comment. He was like, and this is the team that people are expecting to give the Lakers a run for their money if the matchup falls where it's Blazers, Blazers eight, Lakers one. And I thought about that. and I was like, yeah, that's a good point. A uh, healthy CJ Dame. Nurkic couldn't beat a backup Clippers team. Well, yeah, not not even the, beat the they, C team. They they couldn't hold off the backup Clippers team, but people expect them to beat the fully healthy Lakers. I I don't, I don't see that. G. I, I don't know. You know, people. Oh, well, Dame does this and Dame does that. Well, where was this Dame at yesterday? Where, where, where was this Dame? The at only yesterday? reason people see that is they think that they have an advantage over the Lakers on the perimeter. That's the only. That's the only reason. That that end, you counting on Dame getting hot and going for 40 or 50. 40, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like I was trying to tell them on, on the Monday show is that's a lot of ifs. Dame track record in the playoffs, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, you don't when, – when they had the opportunity last season in Western Conference Finals, everything was – it was CJ and Dame versus uh, Steph and Clay. And, of course, Draymond was playing, but nobody really counts Draymond. Triple like single. Yeah, nobody, nobody counts Mr. Triple single. And Dame came up short in the fourth quarter of every single game. So that lets me know he, he's not ready for that stage yet. That's why I said his, his track record in the playoffs is okay, but he, he ain't that guy. He, he's not that guy. But anyways, Keezy, who said you on in this beef? Man, I'm going to go with Paul George on it because he sent out that picture of him fishing later on because he knows he don't have a lot of worries when it comes to, to you know, Dame Lillard and the Blazers. He mm. got a lot of backup. Yeah, he does. He got a lot of backup. He does. He's, yeah, he doing a What do you talk. think about Damian Lillard saying you keep running? <laughs> Coming from team to team, you keep running it, you know. Because um, he was he was with the Thunder, you know. He sent them home. Uh, what what's it, what, what is it with everybody hitting last second shots on Paul George? We'll, we'll get to that at another time. But yeah, Dame Lillard is pretty much saying, yeah, you got your people's name. Where was all this talking at last year? Even when you had Russ, hey man, Russ don't count, man. I keep telling you, <laughs> Russ don't count. 
So, you know, now you got Big Brother Kawhi, and then you got Lemon Pepper Lou, you got Pat Beverly, you got Doc Rivers as your coach, you got Montrez. Her. Now, now PG walking around with his chest all yeah, poked out. Yeah, he got his feathers ruffled yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, you know, he's he walking around with his chest all poked out. You know, it's, it's like he's, he's like when you go to the court, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you see that one dude who's weak as hell, but he got four other ballers with him, though. Yeah, he got, he got four dudes. He got, he got four. Like, so, yeah, you all, if you notice, know when situations like it, it's always the weakest dude on the opposite team who's running it, and everybody else on this team is getting buckets. That's true. And that, that's what I feel like. Now, Paul George ain't no slaps or nothing like that. Yeah, please don't. Please no, don't no, Paul George that. ain't no slaps or nothing like that. But my whole thing is, is that it's, it's awful funny how he's running it now. He's on a title contending team because before this, I didn't I didn't hear that shit when he was with the Pacers and LeBron was busting his head wide open. I ain't hear none of this then. He was going at LeBron. Anyways, carry on though. He was going at LeBron, but my thing is he wasn't talking. He didn't say nothing. That, that was that was he don't say much now though. So why now? He really don't say much now. So why now? I think because because Damian Lillard kind of jumped out there and said, you know, because he got Kawhi. Well, that's all right. Because he got Kawhi. If you got help, you got help. Because he got Kawhi. I got don't need no help. So you remember when when Damian Lillard hit that crazy almost half court three and beat him last year when he was with yeah. the Thunder. Yeah, he gave him a look. Yeah, he gave him that old silly wave. <laughs> and then PG said it was a, I think he put, it was a bad shot. He did, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, but, he did. I mean, it was a crazy shot. Though, it was. You don't expect nobody to pull up on you from almost half court. I do. Know? Nah, I, I still do. don't. I, I do. still don't. Not with time running down like that. I do. Dame time. That's why it's Dame time. So as you yeah, can tell, Dame time I'm, going with, I'm going with, well, that don't count. But I'm going with, as far as this beef is concerned, I'm going with Dame. Because Dame is like, man, I ain't worried about none of y'all. fight all y'all. It, it's, it's what else. He it, get his ass <laughs> As far as the NBA sense, he's like, man, I don't care about none of that. You got Kawhi and none of them. It, it's whatever. I sent you home last year. I sent your boy home two years ago. Y'all know what I do. Don't don't, don't start tripping now because y'all got y'all over with them. No, don't start tripping, but... I wish, man, I wish we could get that Blazers Clippers first round matchup, but we all know this. Why? It'd be a sweep. Just for the dramatics of nah, it. Yeah. Just, just for the dramatics. Yeah, I mean, of course it's going to be a sweep. You know, gentlemen sweep at worst. They, the Blazers yeah. might get one game they might get one. If, if Dame and CJ get hot. But I just want to see it just for the theatrics and because I want the, the Lakers to have like the Suns or somebody like first. Everybody game. feels like the Lakers are in trouble if they play the Blazers. And I just I just don't know I don't. why. Everybody I, I don't. feels like that. I don't because I just I just don't believe in Dame. I mean Dame is good, don't get me wrong, but in the playoffs he's like James Harden. Yeah. They, they just regular season they dope as hell. But when it comes to, <laughs> you know, the playoffs, you know, it's it's, it's hit and miss. Dame will get you thirty five, nine and seven. Game one, game two, he'll have 19, 5, and 4. On, on 29 shots. You know what I'm saying? So, but nah. But, you know, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my guy. Damn, I'm going give it what you say. I'm going to give it what you say. Damn, I'm riding with you. You need somebody to pull up with the bubble, come holler at your peoples. I'll pull up with you, man. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So, what, what about, um? this is the last week of the quote-unquote season. Um, What are you expecting this last week, Keezy? I expect a lot of these teams that, uh, that have already wrapped up a certain playoff seed or whatever to kind of kind of chill out the rest of the, the rest of the week. You think so? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the Wizards just got eliminated. I think they'll go hard in practice, mm -hmm. but I think during the games you're gonna see a lot of low management. You know, Brian got that growing issue. You know what I'm saying? He's setting out on what, that. What? What? year seventeen? So. You know, but he, he you know he got that growing. Kawhi got them got them bad knees. His <laughs> knees are sixty five, but he's twenty eight or whatever. Boy, they, they, so he got, got them knees. There, boy. So you know. I'm gonna see a lot of a lot of slow motion. I think. I think it's gonna be the complete opposite. Speaking of that, you know, um, if the Blazers win today against the, I think they play the Spurs. If I'm not mistaken, I can't I can't remember who they play. But the if the Blazers win today, the Pelicans are eliminated. Which I don't even know. They might as well, they, might as well they, they, they load managing Zion with you know three games left, and I'm like, what the hell is that about? But anyways, but um, I actually expect the opposite. For, for teams like the Clippers, Lakers, Bucks, Raptors, um, contending teams, I expect them to take this week as, all right, let's get ready for the playoffs. Because, mm -hmm. you know, this is the last week. So I, I expect them to ramp it up. Um, I Last week, I thought I looked at it more as a, okay, let's get our, try to get our rhythm back. Let's get in shape. And then this week, it's, okay, let's, let's start to get, you know, together for the playoffs. So I actually think for the contending teams, they're going to ramp it up for the playoffs. I mean, you know, the Lakers already shut it down. <laughs> they already shut I'm, it I'm down. I'm going to talk about my Lakers in a minute, man. But, yeah, I think for the contending teams, I think this week is 
And like you had mentioned the other day in the West, the seeds three through six mm-hmm. are pretty much up in air. The Nuggets, the Jazz, yeah. the Rockets, and the uh, Thunder. Thunder. So I expect them to play hard based on they're trying to get, you know, whatever seed. So I don't see them coasting really mm-hmm. um, because, you know. It's going to be it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting out there in the West, though, because the Nuggets and the, uh, and the Rockets are going for that three, four seed. Yeah. So, you know, the four seed to play the, the Lakers mm-hmm. in that, in that in second that, round. In second round. And if the Rockets get that four seed. Well, right now, based on how the seedings are right now, the standings are right now, the mm-hmm. four five is Thunder four, Rockets five. As of, as of right now, today on, mm-hmm. on Sunday. So, I really do. <laughs> the Rockets have the easiest schedule. They do. The, they Nugget, do. the Nuggets have the hardest schedule. They got the Clippers, the Lakers, the Raptors. I think that's who they play this week. The Clippers, the Lakers. Yeah, everybody the has, has yeah. three remaining games left. So, um, some, some games I'm looking forward to today is the Grizzlies-Raptors game. Only reason I'm going for this game is because I need the Grizzlies to win. Somehow, some way. So, we can hold on to this game. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only. That's the only reason I, I want that game to be a key matchup because they they won the other day. So I need the Grizzlies. To It'll come up. down to the play in game though, right? Yeah, and I, I give them a shot to win the play in nah, play-in game. Not without James Jackson. I mean, they got shot. Man, look, in, in one game anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything right. can happen in right. one game. And then also the 76ers Blazers matchup today. I, I'm really interested to see how Dane bounces back from from last uh, last night's game. He might go off in the shell. They might have they might have took his heart out yesterday on social media. You know, you think so? They may have. We'll see. We'll yeah. And then see. of course you know Ben Simmons is broke down. He got a dislocated yeah. kneecap or whatever the case may be. Um, another some more matchups. Uh, Monday Thunder Suns. I think it'll be a really good matchup. Um, Raptors Bucks Monday. Pacers Heat. I think it's a playoff matchup. I think they'll end up seeing each other in the playoffs. Uh, Thursday Mavs Suns. The Ma- the Suns already beat the Mavs once already. So. And then of course Friday Thunder Clippers. So th- those are my some of my matchups I'm looking forward to. Clippers. Yeah, Thunder Clippers. I'm checking out the Nuggets all week. Why? I just want to see what they do. Nothing. There's a lot of pressure on them. Jamal Murray just came back. Okay. So you know they got they got to put him in, see what he can do. You know who the Nuggets Michael are? Michael Porter Jr. is. He he came out. He been balling. Yeah. So they got a they got a star out of nowhere. Yeah. Add him in, so mm-hmm. we gonna see. The Nuggets, who are the Nuggets? The Nuggets are the best team to go nowhere. The best team to go. The best team to go nowhere. Like, is anybody picking the Nuggets to do anything really? Everybody's going nowhere except for the Lakers and the Clippers. That's what I'm saying. Or potentially the Rockets, depending on how things fall. Or maybe the Rockets. Yeah. I give the Rockets a chance against the Clippers. I, I give them a chance against the Lakers. I would better chance against the Lakers than I do the Clippers. I wouldn't go that far. What? I wouldn't go that far. You see what they did the other night? I was asleep. You sleep? Yeah, good. I was, I was asleep. LeBron was asleep. Everybody was asleep. You talking about last night against the Pacers? The the LeBron was asleep last night too. They let TJ Warren go out there and give him. LeBron, but LeBron had thirty one last night though. What AD do? I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I, I, I ain't got yeah, I, eight points. I ain't got nothing to do. Well, speaking of uh, the Lakers and LeBron James, man, um, should the Lakers be concerned right now? Yes, absolutely. They're so the too. only team in the bubble that's not averaging at least hundred points. I looked it up. It's uh-huh. barely. It's barely one hundred point, and this because of last night. Uh-huh. One hundred point four. Oh, so they they over they over they they now. barely, but you know what that you know what that means? They're the last team. They're in last place as far as points per game. Mm-hmm. Um, they they with a minimum of, of five games because the Jazz and the Lakers are the only teams who have played more than five games. Everybody else is right at five games. Um, the Lakers are they're they're two and four in the last six. Obviously, uh, they're last in points per game. They're last in field goal percentage at forty one percent. They're last at three point percentage at twenty four percent. They're 19th in rebounds, which that ain't going to cut it at 43 uh, per. They're last in assists at 19 assists per game. They're the fourth highest turnover team at 16 turnovers per game. Bro, you, 19 assists to 16 turnovers, that, that's, that's not going to work. Almost one-to-one. One. Yeah, not gonna that, that's, that's not going to work, man. And then I looked at them defensively. Defensively, they're actually not that bad. They're sixth in defensively. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. They're, they're sixth in uh, opponents' field goal percentage at forty four percent. Thirteenth, their uh, opponents' three point percentage at thirty five. Now this is where it gets kind of fuzzy. Um, opponents rebounding, they're twentieth. That's that's not gonna cut it. They're second though in turnovers. So they're causing a lot of turnovers, but they can't they get the points off them. You see what I'm saying? So me personally, I'm concerned for the Lakers. If they would have lost. <laughs> I am man because 
I don't. I ain't gonna say I don't mind them losing because no team likes to lose. But nobody expected anybody to go eight and zero. Shout out to the Suns. They're their own undefeated team. But if you lose like the the Suns, I mean like the Clippers did on the last second shot or something like that, mm-hmm. I can live with that. I'm cool with that. But the way these Lakers is losing, like AD is only getting eight points last night, and, and against the Raptors he shot what two for two for eight. And it's, it's like, bro, we can't lose like that. We can go down swinging, but yeah, you yeah. can't lose like that. If you lose on the last second shot, that's fine. But it, even if not even that, can you, if you lose a close ball game, that means you were competitive. You were right there in it. You know what I'm saying? You lose by two or three points. It just is what it is. You know, bounce here, bounce there, shot there, it goes in. Y'all lose. It's whatever. But a lot of these Lakers losses, bro, they will think they are two and four in the bubble right now. Kendrick Perkins tried to blame it on the lighting. And the, lighting my ass. Yeah, the, the, the court. Lighting. But every other team is shooting great. Everybody everybody else is good. Yeah, everybody else like the lights. Except everybody. the Lakers. They going to turn the lights down for the Lakers game? I don't know, but I'm going to turn. I'll tell you what, though. Danny Green and sit his ass down. Um, no, nah, man. Dan, y'all need Danny Green. We do. Because the Deion Waiters ain't going to be the answer. Right now, Danny Green ain't the answer either. And then he gonna play defense at least, but it makes you unplayable almost. Because think about all, all the three and D guys. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You you good on the defensive end, but then if you can't hit shots on the offensive end, so now we're playing four on five on offense. That's like uh, Roberson, your, your boy. Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm really concerned. I know people are like, oh, LeBron is just coasting his chest, not checkers. LeBron is trying to get everybody else. On. Well, damn it, I need for y'all to get involved. <laughs> we ain't got too much time to be playing around here. Though. I looked at the box score yesterday, and the second leading scorer on the team was Quinn Cook. See what I'm saying? And Quinn <laughs> Cook is the second leading scorer. The Lakers are in, we in trouble. trouble, big we, trouble. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with AD in these big games, and then, you know, you turn to follow it up with this little nonchalant eight-point game. I don't know. Who, who the Pacers got that can guard AD? That's my point. I mean, who does anybody have that can guard AD? That's, that's, my, that's, that's a better question. That's my point. So I don't understand. I, I don't know what I don't know what the Lakers are doing right now. I don't even know if the Lakers know what the hell they're doing right now. And I'm really concerned because if we do happen to get the Blazers in the first round and they playing like this, it will go six or seven games. Mm-hmm. You know who I'm not concerned about? Who's that? The other Los Angeles team, the Clippers. <laughs> Man, they look good out there. Paul George is, is doing his thing. Paul George look. Paul George hadn't looked this good in I'm not since Indiana. I'm not That's Paul I'm George looked good out there. That's why I'm looking this way. I'm not looking they defense good. look good. I don't care. Zubox is playing well. <laughs> Zubox done turned into Hakeem Olajuwon now. Yeah, he's out there <laughs> getting buckets. He done turned into so, Hakeem Olajuwon. They they got Lemon Pepper Lou back. Mm-hmm. Lemon Pepper Lou put in about twelve straight on the Blazers he yesterday. Did. He did. Man, he looked good he out does. there yesterday. They don't even have Montrez back. They don't. Pat Bev was he's got a little calf injury, so they coasting him along. Mm-hmm. So they started Rodney Magruder or mm-hmm. somebody like that. Rodney Magruder. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No Kawhi yesterday. No Kawhi. But you know what? The Lakers still beat him though. Jermichael Green's oh, coming in, making buckets. Gonna, Patrick Patterson's he's, doing all right. He's gonna skip over that fact, huh? <laughs> he's gonna skip over the fact the Lakers beat him. No Joe Kim Noah yesterday. The Lakers did beat him the first game back in the bubble. Mm-hmm. What have the Lakers done since then? That's not that's gone. Neither, what one one and one and four? That's neither here nor there. That's neither. That's not the point. The point is, is that when we the Lakers want, are the Lakers are one and four since they beat the Clippers. when we want to, we can beat the Clippers. Who else did the Lakers beat? Jazz. The Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> who have they lost to? The Thunder. The Thunder. Um. Who else, who else have we? The been? Raptors. The Raptors. The Raptors went in their neck. Yeah, they the did. Rockets. They did. And then the Pacers last night. And then the Pacers last night. TJ Warren, 18 points in the fourth quarter. But, Anthony Davis, two for two for 10 and eight points and eight rebounds. But TJ Warren doing that to everybody, though. He is doing that to everybody. So there, there's that. But if you know somebody's doing that to everybody, though, somebody got to be like, look, we taking TJ Warren out of the game today. Somebody else is going to have to beat us. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it ain't it tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, but I'm really concerned about our Lakers. Um, Your Lakers. Our, our Lakers. But LeBron finally showed up last night. He had 31. AD, baby. We got. I, I don't know if you playing possum to, to let everybody know that, you know what I'm saying, I'm just playing off and then the playoff time come. But to be honest, I don't know what AD is going to give me the playoffs. Can they both be going at the same time, yeah. LeBron and AD? Yep. Only because of how they stagger their minutes. And they don't play the same position. And... AD can do his thing without really, you know what I'm saying? LeBron needs the ball in his hand, obviously. Everybody knows that. But with AD, I think he can play on ball, off ball, and he can still get your buckets. 
But the thing is, is that AD spends too much damn time on the three point line out on the perimeter. Yeah, he he worked he worked on his jump shot. But bit, so it, it's, it's, he's no, trying to be Steph Curry now. No, I need you to get your big ass on that goddamn block. Every, everything should be that 15 step back he hit on uh, Big Rudy Gobert though. That was ugly. Mm. I don't care. I hope he does it every game. <laughs> a whole bunch of I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do not, bro. I need you. I need AD fifteen and in. Fifteen and in. We should we should not be running no damn three point plays for AD. If now if we in transition and he's you know he's the you know follow and he's open cool kick it back bam we good, but within the Florida offense no get your big ass down on that block and do what you do what God created you to do get down there and get buckets and he's really not he's been putting up good numbers but he's really not shooting the ball all that well nobody don't know like it is to be honest that's why I'm concerned. Don't be concerned, man. It's fine. It's They'll fine. get it together. We'll still be in the finals, so yeah. I'm not sure. We'll still yeah, play. Yeah, be in the finals. Who y'all going to play in the finals? The Bucks. Uh, Celtics. Celtics in the finals. Who going to win nah, that? The know, Lakers? You know, damn, that. I want the Raptors because everybody's high on these Raptors since they went up the Lakers next. I don't want the Raptors since everybody. Oh, they still high good. on the Raptors. Oh, they still good without Kawhi. Well, okay, well, we gonna, well, I want them in the finals. Please. You know who's high on the Raptors? Who? Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> no, he's just high, period. And you know why? Because he wants, he wants the Lakers to play the Raptors because he knows the Lakers can beat them with ease. <laughs> Because he wants LeBron to win a championship. Well, I mean, LeBron is going to win his fourth ring, but... When? This season? Year 17? Go 17. I mean, even... They better, they better find some more help on for the Lakers. You know, you they're going to win this year. You do know Allen Iverson said LeBron is the best basketball player. Did you see that? I saw it. Did you? Okay. I, I just make sure. Nobody cares what Allen Iverson said. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody thinks. Speak, speaking of the Pacers, who the hell is TJ Warren, though? Apparently, he's an assassin. Who, where did he come from? You think this is? You think this will sustain until next season? Or is just a flash in the pants? Like we, <laughs> we have to wait to see because for somebody to, to have not done this their entire career and all of a sudden just jump in the bubble and, and start giving everybody buckets, it's got to be the lights. It's the lights. It's the lights. It's, it's got to be the lights. <laughs> it's the all right, cool. I don't Warren. know, man. He is. I don't know. He's, he's leading the NBA in points per game right now. The, uh, Luca's right behind him, but. What's he averaging? 30, he 34. 34. 34, but he's shooting 60% and 55 yeah. from three, bro. Like, that's that's what's so crazy about it is his shooting percentage. Dude is efficient. Yeah, he is. He is. Dude, dude. Is, and, and he's doing it in whatever way you want it. He's getting to the bucket, the free throw line. He's shitting threes. He, he's doing it all. But the thing is, he don't even need that many shots to do it in. Nah. That's, that's, he's shooting like, you know, 12 for 17, you know, 11 for 17, you know, 11 for 15. And it's like, bro, I ain't even shooting that much and getting buckets. Yeah, he's he's getting buckets to <laughs> – but, you know, the Indiana Pacers are the equivalent to the Denver Nuggets out west. I mean, they're doing a lot to go nowhere. Yeah, so Nobody really expects him to do that. I mean, <laughs> second round at the most, uh, T.J. Warren is balling. Uh, Pacers out right now, I think, in the fourth fourth seed. They play in the Miami Heat, which would be a dope series. Um, I think it'd be the only series really worth, worth watching in the first round. Ooh, you know what would be good though? Okay. If the Heat play the Pacers, you know Jimmy Jimmy Butler and TJ Warren got that they got that little beef. You know, they, they almost got a little fight I earlier in the season. That's so I, I like to that. see that right there, especially I mean, I in the that. playoffs. I Ooh. need that because yeah, because all, all the matchups are in the West. I mean, the East you got the one eight, which is what Bucks and 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 uh, Bucks and Magic, two and seven and Celtics. I mean Raptors and, and Nets. Oh, wait, one more. It's three years, 76. I mean, Celtics and 76. No Ben, no ben Simmons. That's no problem. Nobody wants to watch the Eastern Conference. But, you nah. know, everybody, the Eastern Conference is better this year without LeBron. They are up top. Yeah, but we... Whereas the West is top to bottom, but the East is good Yeah, no, no, I, I'll give you that. But you know who who led the West top to bottom? But anyway, that's neither here nor there right now. We, we, we ain't going to talk about that. So, man, um, to close the show out today... Keezy, the Suns, you know your boy. You you called it, my man. Book, <laughs> you called it. Your your man, Book, you called it. He's he's on the tear right now, man. Um, Drake don't rap about him for nothing, man. Who, who's Drake? Drake don't put Drake don't put Devin Booker in his, in his rhymes for no reason. Light skin killer Devin Booker has yes. led the Suns to an undefeated record in the bubble right now, as they sit at five and zero. Five and zero. Uh, right. The remaining schedule for the Suns is Thunder, which is tomorrow. Uh, 76 is on Tuesday, and the Mavs close the season out on Thursday. If they run this table and go eight, well, let's hell, hell, they even go seven and one. Mm-hmm. I like them to get in the play. Well, they'll. It's them, the Spurs, and the Blazers, mm-hmm. right? Well, and the, the Grizzlies, if you want to count them, but I don't know. Who, who do you think is that, that play in game? Because 
those four teams are going to be pretty much identical record wise. So who do you like for that play in game? Blazers, Grizzlies, Suns, and Spurs. I mean, I think it. I think it's actually going to come down to the Blazers and, uh, and the Phoenix Suns. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who the Lakers play, though. It doesn't matter if they play the if they play the Spurs. It doesn't matter who they play. It doesn't matter. I won't rest. That's rest. What, yes, well, I, I won't rest. Cause nah, y'all need to practice. <laughs> Get some buckets out there. <laughs> you right. Y'all don't need no rest. Y'all need right. to practice. You right. Cause you, you did you see where LeBron and AD didn't want to do the morning shoot arounds? Yeah, the last week they didn't want to do morning shoot arounds. But I'm like, bro, we can't hit shit anyways. Like, what the hell, y'all? But anyways, but yeah, um, I, I really, I really want the Suns, man, to to make the playoffs. I really do. Tell me why. Because they have a nice young nucleus with DeAndre uh, Ayton, Kelly mm-hmm. Oubre, even though he's not playing. Mm-hmm. Um. Ricky Rubio is playing phenomenal right yeah, now. And yeah. you got Devin Booker. Yeah. You got Monty Williams as the head coach. He got them guys pointed in the right direction. So I feel like the sky's the limit for the Phoenix Suns. And I, I look for them to. Blazers are taking the AC. They'll play the Lakers in the first round. I need my sons to do it. No. <laughs> I, need, I need my sons to do it. You know, for somebody who just said 15 minutes ago that the Blazers wouldn't be a problem, you sure are praying on the Phoenix Suns real hard to get this spot. <laughs> That's because, man, if the Blazers, because I know the Blazers are going to take us to six. If we get the Suns, it's four or five. Six? Yeah. Have you seen, did you see AD? Did you see them lose out of stretch yesterday? Did you see AD? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, AD, uh, I, I don't know, man, but yeah, I do want my Phoenix Suns to get this eight spot so we can get this, you know, 4 1 match. I mean, 4 1, you know, 4 0, 4 1. But the Blazers it'd be 4-2 and I can't have my guy LeBron James you know playing exerting himself because right now with the way it's looking he's going to have to carry the Lakers he, he, every every series out west is going to be at least six games I say except for maybe that if the Lakers play Phoenix or Memphis or somebody like that that very first round then that might be the only series that don't go six or seven That's, or see like now you're on the same page as me so <laughs> you on the same page as me. That's Bro, why they they've been off for four months. That's neither here nor there. They don't need all this rest. That's just LeBron does. Nobody in that bubble is in year seventeen, but LeBron. He yeah. got that. He got that growing issue. Yeah, yeah. And I'm tired of LeBron take these days off for load management. When Kawhi does it, it's a problem. Kawhi's not year seventeen. It don't matter what year he's yeah, in. He be is. year five. First of all, why are you raising your voice? Let me know. <laughs> why you? I mean, Kawhi, you are young. You. Well, first of all. Kawhi is supposed to be the young killer, so what you need low management for? We know that his knees are 65. We know that. If his knee is 65 and he's only what 30, so what do you what do you think LeBron's growing is? LeBron is super he's superhuman. He when's the last time he got injured? Last year, last year, year 16. Last First year. time he's been injured, mm-hmm. 16 years. Mm-hmm. So he's fine. Yep, but watch wait, wait till you see what we do with this cloud though. What y'all gonna do? We putting up 35, 9, and 8. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it'd be the only way y'all win the championship. 35, 9, and 8 through you the You better hope he puts up 35, 9, 8. And you better hope We're going to have to carry AD sorry ass right now until he get it together. Bro. Because I'm about tired of this. He's making like AD, you making light skin look bad right now. When these playoffs start, y'all better ride AD or else you're in trouble. You saw what happened yesterday. Keezy. AD didn't get going and you saw what happened yesterday. They Keezy. lost to the Pacers. How the hell are we supposed to ride eight points? Give him the ball. We do. You see what he does with it? Man, he got he got 15 touches yesterday and took eight shots. Get aggressive. Quinn Cook took more shots than AD did. Get aggressive. Yell for the ball. Call for the ball. Does, does Coach Cal not teach that at UK or something? To be aggressive. To call for the Man, ball. Man, we teach team ball around here. Yeah. We don't teach Quinn Cook. Nobody tells Quinn Cook to take that many shots. And that's the that's the, that's my point. Quinn Cook don't need nobody to tell him to take shots. Quinn Cook going to get this. Quinn Cook got this. If you touch it, it's going up, baby. <laughs> you better believe that. If Quinn Cook get the ball, everybody else go back there and play defense because it's going up. Yeah, he's going to shoot it. It's, it's going up. It. AD need to have that same mentality. Give me the ball, get the hell out the damn way because it's going up. No, man. It's a lot of friction down there with the Lakers. Friction everybody talks so much about the Lakers. Oh, they're the only team that's, friction my that's full right now. They got the whole team in the bubble. They're the only team, blah, blah, blah. Friction my and they look like the worst team out of everybody. Frankie V, get it together. This, this is his last season. Yeah, because uh, first and last, second and second and last. Jason, this is it. Jason Kidd is taking over for him. Jason Kidd gonna go somewhere else. He's not gonna take over. They were talking about Jason Kidd going to the Pelicans. There you go. They were talking about Jason Kidd going to the Pelicans. Get rid of Alvin Gentry. Why? What did what did Jason Kidd had the same uh, Milwaukee Bucks team and went nowhere? Mike Boonos will come over. They back to back sixty win seasons. 
that's just that's just like Tibble though. Everybody think everybody think Tom Tibble though was like this, you know, guru, but some coaches are just better being assistants, man. And Tom, Tom Tibolo is one of those. He needs assistants. to be a defensive, defensive yeah, he, coach. He's yeah. one of those guys that just he's, his head coach is not for him because he was with the Bulls, but he had you know prime Derrick Rose, Carlos Boozer, uh, Jimmy Noah. Butler, Joe Kim Noah. So you had plenty of talent. You go up to Milwaukee. I mean, not Milwaukee, but uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Cat, Jimmy Butler again. Uh, who was their point guard? Uh, was it Mark Stewart? Uh, they had Teague. Teague. Yeah. Um, uh, I forget. Uh, I feel like it was somebody else on that Minnesota team. Who was team there. But anyway. They had some good pieces on that Minnesota team. And they did what? With Tibbs. He got, he got, he got fired. And then he got a job with New York with even less oh, than what he's had before. Oh. And they expecting this guy to turn it around. Not only that, easy. who wants to play for New York right now? Nobody. Nobody. So Brooklyn, Brooklyn is where it's at now. Nobody wants to go to the Knicks. Nobody, anymore. nobody. Knicks is done. You know what? That before we end this show, that that gets on my nerves the most. Is everybody's like, oh, the New York Knicks is a story franchise, and they ain't won a championship since the seventies. <laughs> I don't get that, dog. I, I get it that Madison Square Garden is, you know, the mecca, you know, arena, whatever. It's more about New York and Madison Square Garden than it is. But people are like, oh, New Knicks. York is it? And I'm like, bro, they ain't won in, since the 70s. I don't understand it. I, I, I really don't. But anyways, we get ready to get out of here. That's our time for today in our NBA Weekly Recap Show. You already know who it is. It's your boy Q. And like I say, I may not be right, but I have never, ever, ever been wrong. And on that note, we get regular. Don't matter. Want you to cheat somebody? You want somebody to cheat your mama? Get out of here. Peace.